Hello and welcome to part 5 of Crimson Ninja's tutorial on how to load custom samples onto the uCreate device. Um, the next thing we're going to cover is uLoad. And there are two parts to uLoad and its first part is making our sample package. Now this will take everything that is in samples and it will turn it into a file that it then loads in a separate step onto your uCreate device. Once again, you have to have your uCreate powered on, and since I open up uLoad, I'm going to have to power off my device and power it back on for it to be shown in uLoad. Do that now. Um, well, I guess I could have made the sample package first. Go hit option 2 for make sample package, option 2. Hit enter. It'll ask for a name. Um, you can name it anything. I try to keep them short just so I don't have to type out a bunch. And since this is my Crunk kit that I'm using for the tutorial, we'll go ahead and name it Crunk. Now, this step is pretty quick, so any key to exit. Um, go ahead and open up uLoad and you'll see that it does not because I have not restarted my uCreate. So I'm going to go ahead and restart it now. And if you look here in samples, there will be a file. Now you can put any of the the file kits, the sample packages in here. From here we can go ahead and delete our lops. We don't need those anymore. So now we have our kit in samples. And we can go ahead and write our sample package to our uCreate device. And we just hit option 4 for write. It's going to ask for the package name We'll type in crunk, and this might take a moment, but it's erasing the flash and then writing it. And after this gets done, we will have our custom kit loaded onto our uCreate device. And as long as you followed the steps, you had everything at exactly five seconds, you cleared your metadata, um, you rendered everything out at two bars at 96 be beats per minute, um, you should be fine. This should have proper working custom samples. And if you follow all these steps, you'll be fine. Um, in the next part of the tutorial, I will be covering unbricking. I was able to unbrick from factory by loading the factory uh, sound kit onto my device. Considering this method with my edited lopgen, my lopgen method renders files at the exact same size as the factory kit you should be able to use any custom kit that you create with this method to unbrick your device but for the sake of just in case that doesn't work I will show you how I did it from the custom kit I have the link for the, for the factory kits in the description um, We'll go ahead and extract here. We're going to grab. The only thing we need to unbrick is the sample package, streets. Now I do have in here, I have the lops, the original lops, um, the original recordings that came factory um, in the song package file, which like like I said before, Marbs's program is quite unfinished, so it doesn't have the ability to load the songs on. Now that would be cool because then we could export and import our own automation pretty much but it's not yet implemented so we're gonna go ahead and take our streets and put it in our samples folder so now we have the crunk kit that I just made and our streets and you'll see that they will always be 939 kilobytes so we'll take our streets, we'll back up one and go ahead and close this and I'll have to turn off my uload or my uCreate, turn it back on so it's recognized in uLoad, and then for unbreaking or loading any sample package that you already have created, all you have to do is hit option 4 for write sample package. It'll ask for the sample package name, so we'll put in streets, and then it'll do exactly what it did before. It'll erase the flash and then it'll write it.
and then we'll have the factory kit back on our device and like I said before I was able to un uh, recover from a, a brick with this method so hopefully this works for you I'm assuming that if you have a brick it's from experimenting around with the device before every thing got figured out and before Marbs's program and even when he was still figuring things out because um, mine was I bricked mine by experimenting with different frequencies trying to have them not be project rate 8000 um, that's how I bricked mine so and well that is all for our tutorial and I hope everything goes as smoothly for you guys as it, as it has been for me um, I hope you get the, the the end result that you're looking for. And many, many things I want to really, really quickly want to thank. I want to thank Marbs for originally creating these tools. Um, as unfinished as they are, if it wasn't for him, I would not be doing any of this. Um, I want to thank Scrags for, for his help on directing me to, to Andy and to... I think he had a couple of files that he sent me that I analyzed and and many thanks to Andy for having the original factory files. He kept those and he had the effects um I believe or maybe he didn't have the effects. I think I might have got the effects off of Scrags. Um but many thanks to these people for for all their help. If it wasn't for them, I would not have gotten this far. I want to thank Tim Drage, Cementimental, for his support, um, and everybody in the community that has joined to the Facebook or the yeah the, to the Facebook group. You guys have have driven me to see that this is something that's needed. This this device has m a lot of life left in it, and I think that eventually we can get this program combined into one since everything is open source. Uload is open source. Audacity is open source for the the conversion to PCM. I'm sure we could figure that code out. Um, Zadig, the driver needed, that Zadig is open source. So why, like, if we get the right minds together, I don't see any reason why we can't feasibly incorporate this all into one program and then finish it out. Get the uh, get custom effects working. Um, see if we can't get a downgrader going. Um, I feel like this tutorial and helping you guys out with this, I feel this is going to get people interested and eventually someone's going to come along that has the time and the knowledge to be able to fully open up this device because its life was way too short in the market for it, the power that it has. Really, that's all I have to say. You guys have a great day or night and can't wait to see the works that come from this.